the new look. Borrowed a few style tips from Wolverine. Really? Well, you're one to talk. Anyway, welcome my human friends to my ongoing chronicle of homo superior in Hollywood. I remain your humble host, the multi-sighted mutant Funky M, as we continue with this mutant thon. Though, I wonder if this movie could even be considered part of the franchise. After all, our protagonist this time wasn't even a mutant until... Well, we'll get to that. I suppose then that I'd better introduce it properly. <laughs> Released, I am not kidding, because it probably amused him to no end, around Valentine's Day in 2016, Deadpool is the origin of the Merc with a Mouth. A special forces veteran turned low level gun for hire meets a girl, gets cancer, gets mutated, and goes hunting for revenge. Made on a comparatively shoestring budget, this movie was wildly popular. Perhaps because of its R rating. Yes, my fragile human friends, this one's not for the kiddies. So crank up the parental filter and come with me as we prepare to meet the latest tryout for the mutant on team, Deadpool. Meet Wade Wilson, formerly of the Canadian Special Forces. Now he's a mercenary. Old Wade has an aversion to the H word. But he's no real villain. And down in Wade's... local? Yeah, it's a dive bar. But with a name like Sister Margaret's, it's got to have had something to do with nuns. Nuns, man. We meet Vanessa. They hit it off instantly. Skee-ball! That's how to show a woman a good time. <laughs> Not that I'd know. That reminds me. I've still got a skee-ball crown here again from Shadowcat. Showdowns are coming, Pride! And spend a year... Well, not just reading books and exchanging logging looks. And they even managed to get engaged before... Cancer. Late stage. Multiple places. I'd like to think that I would have found it before anything untoward happened. But at this point, he's not even a mutant, so he had no reason to come to me. I'm not running a charity here. If I was going to be used as a human MRI scan... I'd start charging by the hour. So now some guy turns up in a suit with a miracle cure. Ah oh man, miracle cures. Them flat, normal humans. Go crazy for miracle cures. They pass around MGH for everything these days. I swear it's getting like the snake oil of the 21st century. But Wade can't bear to put Vanessa through this, and absconds in the middle of the night. This is where we meet our villain, Ajax. Yep, Ajax. Because mutants in glass houses should not throw stones. I mean, come on, I've got my human name plastered all over the intro. And this particular cure for cancer might just be as bad as the disease. And even though it works, it doesn't work in the way you'd think. But it only takes a single act of defiance, and a spark, to light a fire that'll burn down Ajax's custom super stooge factory. Enter Ajax, and they fight. Ajax kind of wins, puts a metal pole through Wade's chest, bends it so he can't get off it, and then leaves him to die. Nice fella! But shock! Wade Wilson is now seemingly immortal. At the cost of physical disfigurement, which puts paid to any reunion with Vanessa, or so Wade thinks. All of which leaves him with only one option. A roaring rampage of revenge. In montage, no less. Hard skip. But only because I'm already in hot water for posting so many pro-mutant vids. And the strain of Deadpool's one-man crusade is beginning to show. Until finally, the man in the suit spills the beans. And so we arrive at our opening action sequence. 
Okay, so I haven't been completely honest with you. This scene on the bridge, yeah, this is kind of the glue that holds the first hour together. We cut back to it as we see how Wade got cancer, got mutated, and started his roaring rampage of revenge. But our hero's real target is Ajax. Looking good, Francis. Well rested. Like Enter Colossus and Nigger Sonic who try to restrain our protagonist, which goes about as well as you'd expect. You ever see 127 hours? You ask me, Deadpool's a little too laissez-faire about the parts he leaves behind. Who knows if they could start growing back and then form an entirely new Deadpool? And who wants more than one of those guys running around anyway? But Ajax doesn't like the strain on his business and sets out to find our hero by using Vanessa as bait. But Wade won't take this lying down, and recruits Negasonic and Colossus for a big final showdown. Featuring a strangely familiar piece of hardware. Deadpool and Ajax pull out all the stops in a one-on-one -on -one duel. Ajax is now using the same breath box he used to create Deadpool to harm Vanessa. <laughs> Man of the year right there. And when Negasonic goes, Negasonic, the platform goes sideways. But shock! Nobody dies. Until, despite Colossus's prettiest speech, Ajax does. Can't say that I blame him for this one. It's half the reason I gave up my spot on the X-Men team. Sometimes folks are just too far gone. And the law can only do so much. But we end on a happier note, as Wade and Vanessa are finally reunited. And that, folks, is the story of how Wade Wilson lost his groove and got it back. And you might think that my man wouldn't accept any invitation for a club that'd have him as a member. But, if you ask me, He's more than earned his spot on the Mutant Thon team. This is an R-rated movie. It's not for kids. It's gory, sweary, acres of fleshy, and yet, like the Cornetto trilogy, it revels in its audacity. And it's as funny as a Deadpool movie should be, because we're talking about the Merc with a Mouth and his wisecracks and fourth wall breaks and nested fourth wall breaks, and all of the lunacy and innuendo that makes Deadpool a problematic fave. Really though, this is Ryan Reynolds' film. Van City Wilson is Deadpool, in all but hideously scarred appearance. And considering that he co-wrote this movie, it's fair to say that he saved some of the best lines for himself. But all this would count for nothing, if he wasn't likeable. Thankfully, this Wade Wilson has a wholly human side, as at its core, this movie is somewhat of a love story, which is helped in no small part by Morena Baccarin's Vanessa. And it's heartbreaking to see Wade rushing out the door, leaving Vanessa without an explanation, without a hope. But this is a superhero movie, and where there are heroes, there are villains. And Ed Screen's Ajax is admittedly a little one-note as another hard nut cockney, but he's plenty hateable as the cause of all this misery. And let's not forget about Colossus, as voiced by Stefan Kapich and Brianna Hildebrand's negasonic teenage warhead, who were picked from the depths of obscurity to be given life in fine form. He's very much the Captain Russia, if you will, and she's the snarky teen, but it works. Truthfully, all of these performances, when the star is the co-writer, were always destined to be outshone, but there really aren't any bad performances that I could see. Now, the flow, as we start in medias res, with Deadpool on the way to Christmas Day, and flash back and forth as the scene plays out, isn't my preferred method, but it seems to work here. Also, it does introduce the dreaded Originitis, though the pre-cancer Wade and Vanessa happy home scenes do keep me invested, and you really do feel for these two hard luck lovers, brought together and somewhat ripped apart by fate. So is it a good film? Yes. It's witty, gory, sweary as hell, 
and there's both male and female nudity, and the secondary villain even ends up accidentally exposing her boob. But it's a romp, mostly. So, if you're old enough, go check out Deadpool. And remember, there's only four or five moments in your life when you need to be a hero. So thanks for watching guys. If this video sucked, you know what to do. But if it was awesome, hit like, get subscribed, maybe check out where to watch this movie at the link in the video description. Also linked down there is my merch store which has cool shirts, not like this one, but there are some pretty cool shirts down there. And the Manic Expression Forum which you should totally join. Anyway, for now, this is your humble host, the multi-sighted mutant, Funky M. Inviting you to join me in seven days time, since we've already looked at Wolverine's past, and his present, the next stop is his future. Till then, see you around, humans! See you around, humans! That's another one in the can. Hello? Yukio! Good to hear from you!